Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 16 of this video series. So we were uh, discussing about the refresh token. We had done some implementation in the previous video and before that video we had separated this layer. Now we are good to go with the implementation of the refresh token what we are going to do now. Uh, we will check in the code that what from where we will start uh, making the changes. Uh, in the last video what we had done Mm, we changes the uh, we added some new class here you can see the application user so we are not directly using the identity user we created a class entity application user where we added the two fields that is the refresh token and the refresh token expiry the reason for doing that that we want these two field in the database uh, in the application user table so that is why we inherited and added this class into the application db context and right now we are good to go with this we have done this in the previous video if you have not seen go back and see that video now it's time to make the changes in our code let's go to the authentication controller and let's do that in my way that if i got this code in my job that how can i you know refactor this code and make this change so what i will be doing i will be go to the root cause okay where i have to make the change from where the bug is coming or where i have to modify the code so you see we don't have to go this confirmation email this register because the token is irrelevant to the refresh token is irrelevant to these method so we will go and target our login method where we are getting the token so if i check the code uh see here i'm getting the token okay and uh, okay so from where it is getting login otp dot response okay this method is being called get otp login user okay so i have to check this as well and i have another method here so as i remember that what i had implemented first you put your credential here in this login method and if you had enabled two factor authentication then you got an email uh, with the confirmation otp and then you redirect to another page where you were asked to insert that otp code that uh, that you got on uh, your email so once you enter your code and your username you are good to go with the uh, login you get the ref you get the token there okay so i can find that okay this is the method get jot uh, token is sync if i go to the implementation i see this okay it's here up right here okay and here i can see a method get token so this is generating my token all the configuration regarding the token is here i'm seeing that these uh, this secret key is coming from the configuration and all right so we can see these things are coming from the configuration the issuer and audience if we want to make sure we will go to the app setting and in the app setting <laughs> dot json all right i can see these things okay you see this valid audience and valid issuer these things are coming from the configuration and the secret is also coming from here and i will go back now and if i see the token expiry this access token expiry is too long as we discussed in the previous video that we should minimize that expiry time of uh, the access token so i will be going to change this first what i will be doing see i don't want to make any kind of impact that will you know make my code very bad and will not be working whatever is working right now so i have to think okay this line is fine this line is fine so i have to make a change here i just have to get the uh, expiry time the duration i want to make in minutes or uh, hours better if we keep it in a minutes uh, like 30 minutes is fine 60 one hour is fine but for now in the point of tutorial we will make it in the minutes okay so what i am going to do i will go to the app setting and and will add something right here like token validity in minutes for now for the point of tutorial i keep it at one minute so i don't want to make it long i can change it later 
now after adding this configuration thing i will go back to my code where i just come from it's like here so i will be writing a piece of code like this that i am parsing this j dot token validity in minutes whatever i had written that maybe if i make mistake so that is why i am parsing that and checking okay if uh, it is fine or not and i am getting a token validity in minutes whatever is saved there the value it will be it will be you know getting uh, in this output parameter and now i have to make a change here and now uh, let's do dot now dot add minutes so this is the first step you are moving towards the refresh token and we are minimizing the time of the expiry of our access token here we go we had done that successfully now uh, we will check that our code is working fine or not so if our ex uh, that lifetime of our access token is minimized the next step will be creating a new token that is the refresh token so we are going the step by step i hope you guys are understanding it very well and if you are understanding it then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel that thing make me motivate and it motivates me to make more video the money is not about like youtube channel is giving the money i repeat it again so many times that the only motivation is to make the people happy and help them okay now i will be putting this otp with my username in the login with otp i skipped all that part in the video that how i am going to log in because i already had done is uh, lots of time okay for now i get the access token and it will be expired in 1 minute okay i am just copying this for making use of it in the authorize the value for this is here authorized okay now if i go to the controller admin to just check the resource execute okay it's giving me the 403 error now success code is this sorry okay i was getting some error and i was not able to log in just because the problem was like that you see the valid issue audience is this and valid issuer is this okay so i have set this but i was running on a different port because my project was running on this see user management dot api it was running on the kestrel server not ias express so the valid audience and issuer is different so that is why the code was not getting authenticated and i was getting error see it's local host 7010 now i have to go back and run this project on ias express so the port will be same 44303 maybe some of you can face this issue see 44303 and now let's test this so this issue how did i come to know because i was you know calculating my code that where i have make the impact so what kind of impact i have made and what it can be it was irrelevant so i was it was very this error was very irrelevant to my code so that is why i was able to find out it easily okay now make a login maybe this time inshallah i can so i'm pausing the video and making it login now i got this otp copying it going back here now checking it try it out paste is my username now let's click on the execute i added the debugger for you know getting this okay i will check this error later for now i am you know directly jumping into the code using the debugger so i will get the token i will okay resolve this whatever i had done maybe some other thing is changed so this video is all most is i don't make any pre script and like that it's all run time i do that so this kind of mistake is you know can we happen let's make it copied and check 
so this is the reason why I was getting forbidden error. See, this was my user 7515, and here it is, but it does not have the role ID that is admin. Okay, so that is why I was getting this error. And you know, after a long time, I was just less looking into this code, it wasted a lot of time. Now I will be getting login. All right, so I got the token and I just put in here in the authorize button. And I, when I am able to resource, use this resource, okay, as I have admin uh, role because I added <laughs> manually here, I had added the role, so I added it from here, and now I'm able to use that. Is why it was forbidden. But after the one minute, this token will be expire. So we will check that. You can see that it will be expire in one minute. So I'm waiting for one minute. I pause this, and after the one minute, I will uh, continue this.